How long should you rest between sets? Are rest periods different when training for muscle growth versus strength? Should you rest longer between compound exercises and isolation exercises? And is shortening rest periods a form of progressive overload? In this 3 minute Thursday video, we'll discuss exactly these questions. So after the 3 minutes are up, you'll know the answers to all of those. So let's put 3 minutes on the clock then and let's dive in. To start things off, contrary to what the thumbnail says, you don't have to rest for 10 minutes or even longer. That was just for you to click on this video. Having that out of the way, how long you should rest between sets ultimately comes down to your goals and the type of exercises that you do. So let's look at them one by one. When it comes to strength, resting between three and five minutes is ideal. These longer rest intervals are needed because strength takes around three minutes to fully recover. And only then can you continue lifting heavy weights close to your one rep max. And ultimately, you need to lift heavy stuff in order to become better at lifting heavy stuff. However, you don't need to take it to the extremes and rest for 10 minutes or even longer. Because resting for more than 5 minutes has no additional benefits over resting only 3 to 5 minutes. But it will make your workouts substantially longer. Which is why resting for 3 to 5 minutes is really the sweet spot for strength gains. On the other side of the spectrum, we have muscular endurance. And when training for muscular endurance, your goal is essentially to make your muscles more resistant against fatigue so you can keep going and going and going. And one way of achieving this is to do high rep sets. But another way to achieve this is to keep rest periods between sets under a minute. And you can even progressively shorten these rest periods to improve muscular endurance even further. But now that we've discussed strength and muscular endurance, let's also look at muscle hypertrophy. For building muscle mass, the scientific literature recommends between one and three minutes of rest between sets. And yes, you can build muscle mass with even shorter rest periods. But research has also repeatedly shown that longer rest periods of around two to three minutes are generally better and result in more muscle growth than resting for only one minute or even less. And that's why for putting on muscle mass, I would recommend resting at least one full minute or as long as you need to feel ready for the next set. But how long you should rest between sets doesn't just depend on your training goals. It also comes down to factors like your age, gender, whether you're new to the gym, how close you're training to failure, and what type of exercise you do. More specifically, whether you're doing compound exercises or isolation exercises, or whether you're doing free weight exercises or machine exercises. And generally speaking, you should rest longer after compound exercises and free weight exercises. And that's because free weight compound exercises involve more muscle mass and cause greater systemic fatigue. And due to that, you need to rest longer in order to match the reps in your next set and to keep injury risk at a minimum. Therefore, I recommend between one and two minutes for isolation exercises and about two to three or two to four minutes for compound exercises, depending on whether you're doing them for strength gains or muscle hypertrophy. But these are just some general guidelines and you should adjust them to your own needs and fatigue levels. I know my time is already up, but there's one misconception about rest periods that I just have to address. And that's the idea that shortening your rest periods between sets is a form of progressive overload. Because it is not. Because there is zero scientific evidence that shortening your rest periods will lead to increased muscle growth, given that all other things are kept equal. On the contrary, shortening your rest periods will make you more fatigued going into your next set because you haven't recovered yet from your previous one. And this has two implications. First, because you are fatigued, you can't match the same number of reps as in the previous set, or you have to lower the weight in order to do so, which essentially means that your objective workload has decreased even though it feels harder. And second, especially with heavy compound lifts, when you are fatigued, your technique will suffer and you'll not be able to control the weight anymore, which greatly increases your injury risk. And this is why I would not shorten rest periods if you're looking to put on muscle mass or gain strength. Instead, add another rep or add more weight if you want to progressively overload. 
Once again, that was everything about rest periods. This time, not quite in three minutes. Um, I'm sorry it took a bit longer, but I hope it was worth it nonetheless. And I'm curious, how long do you rest between sets and why? Let me know down in the comments below. And on your way down there, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you found this video useful and would like to see more of them. See you in the next one. Bye.